This video will help you install your ASX 560 or 280 auto sampler with a simple configuration. Here you can see a typical ASX 560 auto sampler. Your auto sampler may have minor differences from what is shown. For additional information, refer to the quick installation guide included with your auto sampler. Before you begin, familiarize yourself with the parts of the auto sampler. In front are the Z-Drive assembly, the arm, the rinse station, the power indicator, the standards rack, and the sample tray. On the back are the power switch, the serial ports, the USB port, the power connector, the Z-Drive rotor, and the peristaltic pump. You will be installing the Z-Drive assembly and thumb screws, the rinse station, rinse and waste tubing, the sample probe and clamps, a USB cable or serial cable, and the power supply and cord. To mount the Z-Drive, find the Z-axis carriage on the arm of the auto sampler. The Z-Drive will be attached to this carriage. Slide the Z-Drive onto the arm until the two holes align with the matching holes in the carriage. Secure the Z-Drive to the carriage using the two thumb screws. Tighten the thumb screws using your fingers. Connect the Z-Drive cable. Feed the cable through the rear guide block and around the rotor. Tighten the nut to secure the cable sleeve to the guide block. Position the cable so about 2 millimeters of cable extends past the clamp. Hold the cable against the rotor and secure by finger tightening the thumb screw. Now connect the rinse station. Locate the short piece of tubing with an adapter in the middle. Connect the large end to the lower inlet fitting on the rinse station. Connect the waste tubing to the upper outlet fitting. The tubing should completely cover the barb of both fittings. Press the plumbed rinse station onto the mounting bracket. Connect the inlet tube to the bottom fitting of pump channel 2. This is the channel farthest from the back of the auto sampler. Connect the tube from the bottle of rinse solution to the fitting at the top of this channel. If you are using a dual rinse station, plumb and mount it the same way. Connect an inlet tube from the two inlet fittings at the bottom of the rinse station to the fittings at the bottom of the pump. Connect tubes from the bottle of rinse solution to the top of each channel. To install the sample probe, insert the probe clamps into the Z-axis slider. You may need to loosen the nuts on the clamps before installing the probe. Guide the probe straight down through the Z-axis slider until the tip of the probe is level with the bottom of the Z-drive. Tighten the probe clamps. Power Supply and Communications Plug the power supply into the power connector on the auto sampler. Connect either the USB or the serial cable between the host computer and the auto sampler. If your auto sampler has an auxiliary port, plug in the cable and secure it with the two thumb screws. Now you can turn on the auto sampler.